Let's talk about how our layers can interact with our navigator over here. What we're going to do is the following. I'm going to go back into my layers and make sure that these walls are all on the same intersection group. So let's go back in and find our A wall interior, change that number back to 1. The walls cleanly merge together. Now, what we can do is the following. Let's go inside of our object tool. And oh, let's just you get some chairs. And I'm just going to stick a couple of chairs in here. Maybe three. Just to say, you know, we can have some furniture on inside of our plan here. Now, First of all, what I could do is make sure that these chairs are on the right layer instead of the ARCHICAD layer. And by the way, we can't turn off our ARCHICAD layer, so we've got to be careful about placing objects on the ARCHICAD layer. And I'm going to go all the way down to A Fern and put our chairs on A Furniture, our furniture layer. And what we could do is turn off that layer, and you can see those objects are hidden. Because if we have a floor plan, maybe we don't want to be showing the chairs and the beds and books and all kinds of other objects we've placed in there. Now, things can get very complicated because we don't really want to have to return back to our layers every single time and start thinking, well, maybe let's turn this and let's turn this off and let's turn our equipment on and maybe we'll have our lights on and this scene over here and, oh, maybe my topography should be turned on. We want to sort of automate all that. And how we can do that is the following. I've got the furniture layer on. I can go over here to the view map. That's this second one to the right here. It's project maps here, view maps right here. And I can go down to the bottom here and click Save Current View. And what that's going to do is bring up this dialog box here. And we could just leave the ID at 1. And maybe we'll give this a custom name here. We'll call this furniture off. And I notice when we create a view, and that's what we're doing here, it knows what layers are on, what the scale is, the structure, all kinds of things. I'll click create. And that's going to create this view over here. You can see furniture off. And we can drag that all the way up here somewhere if we want to. Let's try and bring it all the way to the top. Now what I'll do is I'll go inside layers and we'll go down, turn furniture on. And this, of course, is a very simple example, but what we're going to do now is, again, save the view. We're in view map. Save the view. Again, we'll give it a custom name. We'll call this furniture on. Click create. So now we have furniture off and furniture on. Now all we have to do to get back to those views, if we want our furniture off, we just go over here and double click furniture off. You can see our furniture is off. Double click furniture on, here's our furniture on. Now this may not seem like we're saving a lot of trouble right now, but you can imagine if we had to go into our layers and we had a couple hundred different layers here, and that's very possible and 50 of them had to be changed. You can imagine how much time we'd be spending changing those layers on and off. So that's how our layers can interact with our views. So views are really, really useful to us.